about interested, uh, getting excited and interested in having a party? Absolutely, Julie. So I like to start the party. I get their attention with Home Office's new quick cooker teaser video that I absolutely love. It will get them so excited about the new product. That sounds great. So you've got their interest. So what's next for your virtual guests? So I like to start the morning off with an image of the recipe that I'm gonna be making for dinner later that night, which is our new chicken salsa lettuce wraps. It's going to have people running to the grocery store to get all the ingredients they're gonna need. Then next, I'm gonna showcase the power tool and give a quick overview of the features and the benefits and why ours is so different from other similar products, including the recipes that come with a quick cooker. And of course, they're gonna get me 24 seven. Okay, great, that sounds wonderful. So you kick off the day by sharing a couple of posts and I'd imagine that not, not every post you do in the party is just about the quick cooker. Correct. So I love to incorporate a little fun into my party, so it helps me build relationships with my guests. They get to learn a little bit more about me. So here I shared a funny image of an old pressure cooker. You can see the lid is in the top <laughs> of the ceiling. Um, asking people to share their embarrassing kitchen stories. And if they share something about the pressure cooker, um, it gives me a chance to highlight the safety features with our quick cooker. Then I'm gonna follow up with a post that shows the quick cooker accessories that I'm so excited about. And it's gonna show the versatility of our quick cooker. Then I'm gonna share meal planning tips. I'll post about Pampered Chef safety features because it's so important to set our pressure cooker apart from those on the market. And of course, I'm gonna share an album of all the supporting products featured in the recipe I'm making for dinner that day, including the new restyled micro cooker set all the elements that you would see in an in-home person, in an in-person party. Wonderful, that sounds great, Elena. So what's your process for mixing your own images and videos with the ones that home office provides in the party things? Absolutely, so my parties are truly a blend. I like to use the home office images because they're just beautiful and they're so effective, but I also want people to get to know me. And so it's an easy way to do that through my live videos. And I like to do that um, also when I'm responding to comments. Um, I like to play along with my guests with gifts. Um, so for this party, I really wanted to go live to show them all the amazing features of the quick cooker and how I was able to make the recipe from beginning to end. So going live is always a great opportunity to plant booking and recruiting seats as well. Great. So what are the three things you think that you should show about the quick cooker in a live video? Absolutely. So it's important to showcase that it's safe. It's versatile and it's easy way to prepare an entire meal. Even if you forgot about dinner, like I do a lot of times, um, and you need to go pull the meat out of the freezer. So let's see just a few minutes of that video so everyone can get the flavor of your demonstration. So here's Elena sharing the quick cooker salsa chicken lettuce wraps with her guests. Hey everyone, I hope you have had a great day and I cannot wait to show y'all how to make our salsa chicken lettuce wraps and our newest power tool, our quick cooker. Pampered Chef has also thought of some amazing uh, safety tips. I have not had a pressure cooker um, due to the fact that I was scared. Um, my family has pressure cookers and I always heard horror stories of them burning themselves. Um, there was a handle on the top and so it was just very dangerous. So Pampered Chef has put this together with all of those safety features in mind. Now, instead of the handle being on the top, they have designed it so that you can carry it. So this is not gonna get hot. I'm gonna show you a little bit later while it's cooking. Another safety feature, you're not gonna be able to open this up um, when it is under pressure. So that is also amazing. Um, favorite feature is this is what's gonna set us apart from all of our other pressure cookers. So there is the steam release right here, but you notice that a couple inches away is where you're actually going to press to release your steam. So your hand is completely away from the hot steam when it's coming out. And so when you have the little dashes, that means it is turned on 
and we are going to get our chicken started. So um, our family loves Star Wars, so this is like our little R2-D2. You can hear it. It's going to talk to you, and then it calls for a cup of your favorite sauce. So that is it, guys. We have our seasoned chicken. We have um, one small onion. We have our bell pepper, and we have one cup of hot salsa. And then right here are all your settings. We have sear, steam, slow cook. You can even do bread in here, which is absolutely amazing. Um, chicken and poultry, beef, fish, seafood, soup, um, all of your rice and your grains, your beans, your stew and chili. So we have it on chicken and we are just gonna press start. So it is gonna stay right here. It's gonna be a circle that's going around. It's gonna stay on this setting until your pressure cooker, the quick cooker has come up to pressure. So this could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to come up to pressure. And then you will see your 15 minute start time start and then it will start counting down your 15 minutes, which is absolutely amazing. And then another great feature, um, if you are setting your quick cooker and running out, it will, after it has finished cooking, it will automatically go to the keep warm. And this will stay on and it will count up. So you will see that as soon as we come back. Great job on the video.